these shoes. Mom, why do you never wear normal, comfortable shoes? Oh dear, because I have a strict dress code at work. I work at a gallery and I must always dress appropriately. So you're a gallery owner? <laughs> so funny. No, I'm just an art critic. <laughs> no Mom, hope why do you remains. always walk to school? Because Part there's no one. place to park near the school. It's impossible to park there. It's a complete nightmare. I forgot your sandwich. No, I have it. Seriously? Well done. I always knew you were a smart boy. And please bring some manicure sets from the warehouse. Take them to the salon for the girl. Thank you. Well, what about the builders? Yes, that's it. Good morning, girls. Pancakes are ready for breakfast. For so long? Hello, sweetie. Hi, Hi Dad. Dad. How many would you like? Just five. Mmm. Okay, I'll call you later. Sylvia! Mm, what? You know, there's a completely new anesthetic that has appeared on the market, so we can treat your teeth using it. You won't feel anything, I swear. Well, this sounds amazing. But for now, I have a different problem. What kind of problem? The construction workers haven't finished the repairs at the salon. It should be ready by now. Mom? Yes? Dad, I'll be home late tonight. After my music lessons, I will go to a birthday party with my classmates. So bye, sure. see you, have a nice bye, day. Bye, Lisa? Oh, Dad, sorry. Goodbye. You didn't have pancakes. I'm not hungry. I can get you tonight. Okay, um, I mean, it's not necessary. I'll be fine. Do you have money for a gift? I got a credit card, and I think I will take a pancake for the road as well. I'll be fine. Sylvia, what's wrong? When do you want your appointment? Exactly. Okay, I'll call him myself. Call who? What do you mean? Oh, I'll call the contractor. Hello? This is Sylvia. Yes? So what's the real problem? Hi. And what are you doing? Goodbye. Dad, did I pass the driving test? You did. At your age, I only dreamed of a car like this. Do you like it? You're being serious? You're the best, Dad. <laughs> the best gift for the best heir. But listen to me, son. Don't go crazy. Understood? Be careful. I know, Dad. Mm hmm. Anyway, take care. I'll call you later. All right. Good morning, Simon. Valerie, on time and smiling as always. That's how you start your day. I see you're in a great mood today, too. I bought my son a car for his birthday. He's delighted. Oh, I saw it. It's very beautiful. Oh, we need to prepare the painting we have from Vinogradov. Someone wants to see it today. Please make the arrangements. <sighs> of course. I'll take care of it. So you are involved in construction, sir? Mm, yes, a little bit. My company is one of the ten largest developers in the city. That's impressive. Congratulations. <clears throat> How much? At the moment, $100,000. The price is listed in the catalog. A little expensive? Yes. I thought the price would be much lower. 
It is expensive. Um, excuse me, sir. Let me tell you a little bit about this masterpiece. The fact is that it's an absolutely unique piece painted by the artist Vinogradov in the 70s of the last century. Yeah, we on... know all about him. We have three paintings out of four and we're looking to buy the fourth. Wow, it's a wonderful collection. And I think you have the chance to make it a complete one. Mm. 50,000. <laughs> <clears throat> Listen, the artist died a few years ago. You know that. Mm -hmm. And he won't paint anything else. Moreover, this is his early period. Mm -hmm. So, 100,000 is a reasonable offer. Well, what do you think? The price is too high. All right, let's do it this way. Here you have my card. And please contact me if you ever decide to lower the price. With all due respect, the price will only increase. Hmm. Oh no, it's fine, we know the way. It's a pity they didn't buy it. Did you see how his wife looked at it? Mm-hmm. Hide it in the storeroom until they come. And they'll come sooner or later. the important news. That's interesting. You can come right now. It's lunchtime. Yes, let's meet in a few minutes. Uh-huh, see you then. <laughs> Dan, the exam is tomorrow. Are mm. you ready? No, of course not. I will cheat on the exam. You sound confident. Uh, yes, Dad. Dan. Can you please drive to the copy center around five, pick up the catalogs and bring them to me? Yeah, no problem. And uh, thank you for the car again, Dad. Everyone likes it, it's so cool. Really? I'm glad, but don't drive fast, son. Mm-hmm. Don't forget about the catalogs. Mm. Okay, I'll cut to the chase, Valerie. I didn't tell you before because I wasn't completely sure. But I've been dating a very handsome man for a long time. He's a banker, and his name is Max. <laughs> Great. And where did you meet this banker? Very romantically, at a business meeting. He asked me out to dinner, and after meeting, then we started dating, and then... This... You got a new manicure? Oh, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> That's everything I've ever dreamed of. Well, congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> when? Okay, so the wedding is in three weeks. I want you to be my witness. You no, have no, no choice. Please. Yes. I'm begging you not to do this. You know, I don't like these things. Come I on. beg you. No, no. Don't make me do this, please. You're the only best friend I have, Valerie. <sighs> All right. I'll do it. But I won't catch the flowers bouquet. I won't. Did you hear me? 
Valerie, but I am sure that you will meet your future husband in my wedding. I can't do this the way you do. This is not for me, and it's not about me. You know I don't. Okay. How is Sam? I haven't seen him in a long time. Well, of course. You should visit us more. Then you wouldn't be asking these questions. But Sam's fine. Everything's fine. He grew up, he's maturing, and becoming an independent man. He's a smart boy. <laughs> <laughs> do you have any photos of Max? Yes. <laughs> this is Max. Look. He's cute. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sam, do you need me to give you a ride? No thanks, I'll walk myself. Mom is waiting for me at work. See you, Sam. All right then. Bye, guys. Bye -bye. Let's go, guys. Hello, Mom? Yeah, I'll be there soon. I'm coming. See ya. Did you see how Max was looking at you today? What? No, he wasn't. Yes, I'm telling you, he has a huge crush on you. It's so obvious. Who's that? That guy is cool. Don't you think? See you later, Max. Bye. Bye. Take care. a very cool car. Hello. Hello. Here, I'll put your cello in the back. Actually, it's a violin. Uh, of course I knew that. <laughs> oh, thanks. Oh, careful. Uh, what is that? Uh, these are catalogs of paintings by artists. I'll bring them to my father. Cool. And who's your father? You're kidding. You don't know? Mm-mm. He's a well-known gallery owner. His art gallery is downtown. Whoa. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Yeah. Do you paint yourself? No, I am the worst. Can't paint at all. <laughs> Are you serious? Yes. Well, we'll drop these off and then we'll hang out somewhere. Sounds good? Yeah. Great. Buckle up then. Um, yeah. I still can't believe this. Believe what? This car. I never <laughs> seen a car like this before. Uh-huh. Well, get used to it. That'll be easy. Wow, this guy is incredible, Dad. Yeah, just wait until you see how fast it can run. How fast? It goes to a hundred in seconds. Oh, wow. Now check this out. having an exhibition of paintings and drawings called classical art here at the gallery which we are now actively preparing well i'm interested in seeing it hello 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 what do we have a speeding car be careful the boy's alive Apparently he ran out of the road. This is his backpack. The phone is broken. We weren't able to reach his parents. <laughs> Two people in the car. There was a girl. She was 15, 17. She is now in critical condition. And the driver? The driver's dead. I see. You found the girl's phone? Yes, I have it. And 
And I want all of you to know that several important artists have agreed to take part in our next exhibition. Mm, really? Can you at least give me a hint no, as to who I it can't. is? No, it's a secret for mm. now, but you will find out very soon. Yes? Excuse me. Yes? Something happened outside uh, at the gallery entrance. Looks like Sam got hit by a car. Hello. No, it's not Lisa. This is Investigator Irwin. Your daughter Lisa was taken to a hospital. Yes, she was in a car accident. She's in critical condition. Yes, she was taken to a hospital near the gallery. Oh, excuse me, you can't go. I'm sorry, that's but all Ian, I know let me for go. Me. Sir, what happened to my son? What's going on? I'm Valerie Sutcliffe. This is my son's Let her through. Pack. I'm sorry, I have to go Where's now. my son? How is he? He was taken to the hospital. <sighs> Thank you. Excuse me. Yeah. Well done. Keep up the good work. I like this building, Simon. Yeah. I really love it. Could turn over, find a couple more of these now, only in a different Will area. do. No more competitors. Oh. Dan, you got the catalogs? Who is this? Sorry, what happened to my son? Where's the lobby in this hospital? This is like a maze. Uh, excuse me, where's the lobby? That way. The, yeah. There? Thank you. Uh, sorry. God, oh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Do you know where our emergencies is? We don't know. Our daughter is somewhere here. Uh, okay, Are thanks. Huh. Ivan! Uh -huh. Hello, we're looking for Lisa Malkovich. Uh. Someone called us. Yes, the police called us. They said she's here at this hospital. Lisa Malkovich? Lisa yes. Malkovich, yes. Just a minute, I'll find out. You can have a seat. Please can you hurry, hurry up, up, please? Yes. Hello? I need information on Lisa Malkovich. Oh, could she speak any slower? Go have a seat, please. Oh, God. Car accident? Yes, yes, accident, yes. God, I don't understand. How many people can you possibly have with the same name? <sighs> Understood. Lisa Malkovich <sighs> passed away in an ambulance on the way to the hospital. There was nothing they could do. No, no, it's some kind of mistake. Impossible. How did she... How could she die? They called me and she said that she brought her here to you. They called me from the police and said that she brought you to your hospital. Let's call and check again. I am very sorry. What you're saying is a lie. The information they gave you is wrong. Please call again. Lisa Malkovich. Just make... I don't know, maybe. There are other girls named Lisa Malkovich. This is a mistake. What caused the accident? Your son was driving at a high speed. A boy came out on the road. He tried to avoid hitting the boy and then lost control of the car. It's the boy's fault. It's his no. fault. It was reckless driving. I'm sorry.
So you'll go see Singleton now and then Ackerman. Is that okay? Okay, great. See you soon. Good evening. Hello. Sorry, doctor. Valerie Sutcliffe, right? Yes. Yes. I want to immediately reassure you that your son's life is not in danger at this point. As a result of the accident, he lost consciousness due to pain and shock. Of course, he has a lot of bruises and a concussion, but medical assistance was provided on time. Therefore, we are very hopeful for a quick recovery. Thank you. Does that mean that everything's fine? Well, as you should know, I can't give any guarantees. But it looks like he's fine. I still can believe this happened to Lisa. Stay strong. <sighs> if only we knew where she really went that day. You should have done a better job. What? Sylvia. That is Dan's father. The guy who was driving. They buried him here. I'll be right back. You'll be Don't fine. do it. Just look. Look after Sylvia, please. Will you? Okay, let's go. Excuse me. Can I have a word? It's fine. Mm-hmm. I'm Ivan Malkovich. Lisa's father. She was in the car with your son. It seems that we share her. Common grief and and that's all. Yes, I'm sorry. Now you know what? I still think that your son shouldn't have been driving so fast. He should have. Valued his girlfriend's life and been more careful. My son, he doesn't owe you anything. And he doesn't owe that girl anything. No, no, don't talk about her like that. Did you hear me? Don't you dare. Because of your son that my daughter's dead now. Simon, listen, we are all grieving. So you need to calm down. Ah, let's go. Today? 
Hello, my sunshine. Well, you'll probably get discharged today, you know? Good morning. Hello, yes. We wanted to ask when he's going to be discharged. Is it today? Uh, Valerie, can I talk to you for a minute? Why, what happened? Please come with me to my office. I'll be back very soon, dear, okay? Here, I brought you something delicious. It's for you, okay? I'll be back. Stay there, okay? Darling. Darling, everyone's already here. Waiting for you. I think we shouldn't have bought him that car. Dan was a great driver. I taught him myself. It's all because of that boy. <sighs> A few days ago, we performed an echo on your son. And I noticed a number of clinical signs, which are barely noticeable at this stage, and it looks like a very serious illness. Uh, the Doppler echo and x-rays that were performed later unfortunately confirmed my worst case scenarios. What fears? What's wrong with him? Let's take a seat. As a result of a close chest injury that occurred during the terrible accident, unfortunately, your son has developed post-traumatic heart disease. Is, is it curable? Yes. But urgent surgery is needed. Unfortunately, at our clinic, procedures of this kind are not currently performed. You need to take your son abroad. Mm -hmm. And how much would that cost? Mm. Well, the surgery itself, plus transportation, and expenses, 50,000. That much? Yes, but with a successful surgery and treatment, your son's chances are very, very high. And how much time do we have? He needs the surgery very soon. Patients with this diagnosis may live for perhaps a month, possibly less. Valerie, find that money soon.
Let's have breakfast. Sylvia. This is all your fault. Sylvia. Don't say that. It was because of your carelessness that she was out with that rich kid. I beg you, Sylvia. Tell me, am I wrong? Just tell me I'm wrong. Actually, I thought that when girls have love problems, they usually go to their mothers. What? So you think I'm guilty of everything again? Yes, we're both guilty. She was spending time with that kid, lying to us. She said she was at school. Or that she'd be at a friend's birthday party. God, how could something like this happen? I don't know. I don't know. That's not an answer. You can clearly notice that each picture of her son shows a different age. I'm and sorry, do you know where Arthur is? Uh, I think he's in his office. Thank you. Simon, where are you? Stop everything and come to the gallery. I need you. Arthur, may I? I'm busy. It's a personal matter. No, I have no time. I'm sorry, you probably don't know yet, but it's my son who was hit by Dan. As a result of... The accident, a chest injury developed post-traumatic heart disease, and he needs urgent surgery. The cost of the surgery is $50,000. And here, here's a copy of the medical report. Yes, here it is. It was your son then. Yes. Maybe you, as Dan's father, could take care of these expenses. My son is sick at the hospital because of what your son did, after all. If you dare, say something else about Dan. I will fire you. Arthur, wait. You probably didn't understand. I have no way of getting this money. I, I'll pay you back. After all, because your son, my own child, is now dying. My son tried to avoid the accident. Your son is alive. Mine is not. And you ask me for money? I have no one else to go to. You're fired. Where were you? Uh, did you call? Did you know that over the past two days, one of our gambling halls has dropped its revenue to almost zero? Uh, so then we should seal some... No, idiot. Are you dumb? Let's go. Talk. Can you meet me? Where are you? Good. I'll be right there. I'm close. Mm hmm. All right. I'll be there soon. Thank you.
Hi, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Mr. Malkovich. Oh, hi. Oh, Ivan. Hello. I'm glad to see you. How are you doing? I'm fine. Listen, uh... I understand it's hard for you right now. No. You don't understand. Because it's impossible to understand. You don't know. Uh, Ivan, maybe you should see a therapist? What for? Mm, a friend of mine works in the field. I think he's got a six-month wait list now, but I can ask him. Christian. There's nothing wrong with my mind, all right? I understand perfectly well what's wrong with me. It's called the loss syndrome. And I have to deal with it myself. Okay? Myself. Hmm. I'll just send him a message. I stand, I don't need it! going on? Well, Sam and I are in trouble. The other night he was hit by a car. Is he? It's very serious. He's in the hospital now, but he needs an urgent surgery. Oh my god. The cost of the surgery is $50,000. I don't have that amount of money, you know. I rent my apartment. I'm paying for this car. And I urgently need the money. I don't have that money either. I understand. Listen, I wanted to ask if I could talk to your banker boyfriend. Perhaps he could lend me the money. I'll pay him back as soon as I possibly can. Well, of course I'll talk to him soon. Try today. Stay strong. Everything will be fine. I have to go. Okay, go on. It's your turn. But don't peek. <laughs> Little rascal. Seven. Seven. Okay. Oh, yeah. I've got it. Yay, finally. Does it hurt in your chest? A little. I see. So, 78. Uh, I have it. All right. You're lucky. Oh, sorry, dear. Hannah's calling me. Hannah? How did it go? Unfortunately, I have bad news. Max refused to lend you money. What? Did you explain to him? That I'll pay him back very soon? Understand this. I just started a relationship. I can't put this pressure on him. I see. Stay strong. Goodbye. Mom? 
are you crying? No, I'm not. It's okay. <laughs> so, whose turn is it? Yours or mine? Yours. <laughs> All right, so, let's see. It's 14, 14, 14. Got it. <laughs> yes. Your turn, but don't peek. <laughs> 87. Oh, 87? Mom, why are you crying? Is it because of me? No. Of course not. It's just some problems. Come on, let's play. Everything's fine. So, 60 then. Have you got a 60? No. Darling, don't worry. Listen, everything is going to be okay. We're not the first couple to... Hi, how are you? To face something like this. We'll be fine. Yeah, yeah, we'll be fine. We'll find another clinic, of course. Yes, everything will be fine. Don't worry uh, about it. Sorry. Hello. No hope remains. Now. Do you have a Part minute? Part two. Yes, of course. This way. Uh, how's your son? Is he at home now? No, that's why I came to see you. There were some complications as a result of the accident. He developed a chest injury I and... see. Go ahead. After you, please. Thank you. He developed a post-traumatic heart disease and he needs urgent surgery abroad. Very expensive. And I uh -huh. don't have that kind of money, so... My question for you is, is there any chance to get some sort of compensation from the insurance company? Uh, theoretically, yes. Um, I'll help you right now. Wait a yeah. second. Okay... No, no. Where are those files? I'm sure they're right here somewhere. I'm really sorry about your son. Thank you. Oh, there they are. Yep. Okay. Mr. Carlson's car was registered with the company AVN Plus. Mm -hmm. Write down the number? Yes, of course. I'm ready. Zero... We don't have any? Wait, what do you mean? Purple needles, thread, micro brushes, nothing at all? Yeah, there's nothing. <sighs> when was the last order placed? About a month ago, I think. I see. I'll call Ivan right now. Mm -hmm. I'll figure it out. Just work with what we have. Mm -hmm. Hello, Ivan. Listen, I thought you were a bit more involved here at work. You do realize we're missing some materials we need? What do you mean? Yes, I will need that medicine as soon yes, as possible. Yes, I have to go and find them. I mean, the consumables we use. Yeah. Carpool needles, micro brushes. Rubber dam, we have nothing here. And getting them was your responsibility. What are you doing? She didn't deserve what happened to her. Ivan, yeah, but I'm not talking about that. She didn't deserve what happened. Christian. <sighs> okay, yes, I understand. Where are you now? If you had just told me... 
I could have ordered the materials myself, you know. Christian. Everything you need is in my laptop. <sighs> Buddy, it's time to get back to real life now. No, I can't. I'm sorry. I can't do that. I'm sorry. When can I get the money then? I urgently need those $50,000. I'm sorry, you won't be receiving that kind of money. The maximum amount of compensation under the policy of Don Carlson for the damage caused to your son's health is much, much less. You have submitted the application and all the required documents. Now our colleagues will check everything and after that, we... Yeah, but I thought you were covering all the expenses. You understand that he will die. Listen, I don't make the rules here. And actually, you won't even receive the money in the next few months. It's protocol. He doesn't have that time. Well, take it to court. And then try to get the money from the father of a boy who caused this terrible accident. That's impossible. Julia, don't buy products from them again. They're a complete disaster. But they're the official representatives of the brand. Then we will change the brand. I didn't spend all these years building my business to use bad quality products. Sylvia, hi. Christian? Can we have a word? Um, yes, one second. Here, have the reports for the new brands ready by tomorrow. All right. What is this about? I'm worried about Ivan. What's wrong with him? Everything. Follow me. He's not doing well. I'm worried. I don't think he has honestly accepted what happened. And what could I do about it? Talk to him. Try to cheer him up. Uh I am really worried about him. Cheer him up. Do you think he's the only one grieving? Do you think I am not hurt? Well, at least you're doing something. I'm trying to do something. I'm just holding everything in. But Ivan... I don't know. I've been talking to him lately, but it's as if he's not there. You will have to sit down and talk to him sooner or later. You think I haven't tried? I don't mean a fight. I'm actually really worried about him. You think it's that easy? With a man who can never accept he did anything wrong? No, Christian. He's your friend. You go deal with him. Did your boyfriend change his mind? Will he lend me the money? No. I tried talking to him. But it's too complicated. Put yourself in my shoes. I'm scared of losing him. I'm really sorry. Yes, I understand. That's fine. Here. It's not much, but it's all I have. You need it more than I do. You should take it. Please take it. Thank you so much, Hannah. I gotta go. Thank you. I'm really sorry, darling. Stay strong. Thank you.
Yes, number 23 and 25 are displayed in the hall downstairs, and you can find them there. Mm -hmm. Good afternoon. Hello. Is this your first time at our gallery? Uh, actually it is. I saw the job ad. Really? Yes, for a consultant position. Uh, well... Mr. Carson, can I talk to you for a second? There's a woman here who says she saw an ad for a job, but we don't have any vacancies. Now we do. I forgot to tell you. You are a senior consultant now, instead of Mrs. Sutcliffe. Hello, are you Maria? Yes. Arthur Carlson. Nice to meet you. Hmm. <laughs> I don't understand. I thought Valerie was on a vacation. I fired her. After you. Mm -hmm. Actually, if she shows up, call the police. Understood? Understood? Yes. That issue of land allocation should have been resolved a month ago. I'm working on it. Hello, Mr. Bass? Uh, listen to me. What are you, a lawyer? Mm. Go to work. Mm -hmm. I'm Valerie, from the gallery. I called you earlier. Oh yes, I remember you. Uh, has your boss changed his mind? Exactly. He even sent me to see you personally. Uh, well, I'm glad to hear that. Well, the question of the price remains relevant. You know? How much? Yeah, the price? Only 50000 And as a bonus, I will deliver it to you myself. <sighs> That's great. It's actually a great idea. My wife and I are planning a trip. Oh, when could you bring me the painting? Well... Tomorrow. Really? It's a deal. We took them a month ago for the class yearbook. They delivered them yesterday. I thought the right thing to do was give them to you, you know? She's incredibly beautiful. I was wondering if you would like to remove Lisa's photos from the class yearbook. What? Of course not. I want Lisa to be in it. Yes, yes. Of course. She will be in it. Her class... is still in mourning. I'm sorry for her. We as adults... 
should learn to pay more attention to our children. What do you mean? Lisa was spending time with the problematic kids lately. I knew they were drinking, maybe even worse. I don't know for sure, but I think that's how she met Dan. That's when she started skipping classes. What do I find about this now? I tried talking to her many times, but you know how kids are these days. She told me that what she did outside of school was not something I could comment on. You must have told us about all of this anyway. To be honest, I had wanted to contact you, but then this, then this happened. I'm sorry, but I have 30 students, each one with their own problems. If only you would visit me once in a while. If I had known. You can find paintings by artists from all over the world. Of course, we choose the most interesting, only the best ones, and we display their work of art here. Uh, here, especially in this hall, you can see some of the paintings by prestigious artists. Uh, let's go check out the next one. Please take a look at this one. The story behind it is that a group of artists lived in India for a year and dedicated this year to the Several of these paintings were part of a very prestigious exhibition in Berlin, and you could take a closer look later. But first, um, I would like to move on to the next room. We will see some work from a Japanese artist. He does not allow his painting to be taken uh, out of the country and uh, very rarely agrees to be part of an exhibition. The Japanese are very scrupulous in this regard because they think their work of art should be treated with the utmost respect. And it's very important that we have uh, this piece here. Sylvia. Dear. It's 
Sylvia. What's wrong? I went to see Lisa's school teacher today. Sit. And? So, what did she say? She was aware of her new friends. And she wanted to warn us. You knew she was at a difficult age. You should have paid more attention. Sylvia. What? Are you going to blame me again? I don't blame you. I don't want to. I know that I could have done better. I just don't know when I lost track of her. I just don't know when. I, I thought I knew her. Listen, it's not just me, though. It's both of us. We didn't Wait. know. You're doing it again. You're blaming me. I just filed for divorce. What? I just can't be with you anymore, Ivan. I will keep this apartment and the beauty salons, and you can leave at the country house. And I won't claim your share of the business. You need to leave. Sylvia, what is happening? I don't recognize enough. you. That's enough. Deal with it yourself. Go pack your things now. Lee, this is my final decision. Mr. Bass? Hello, this is Valerie from the art gallery. Yes. Um, tell me, is it possible for me to bring the painting to you today? 1 p.m.? Perfect. I'll be there. See you soon. We also have an exhibit in the downstairs hall. That is great. Are they expensive? Huh? Very. Okay, listen to me. Arthur does not like formal communication with visitors. Therefore, always smile and be friendly or you'll be fired. Yes, I can see that. So, we have a storeroom over here. Let me show you. We store paintings here because we often change the ones on display, so...
there was a painting right here. That's very strange. The construction should be completed by Monday. Got it, Simon? Uh, I need it to start making money as soon as possible. Mr. Parton? A painting's missing. Close the gallery now. So we have nothing at all? No. Nope. Was everything off? Yeah. Idiots. <sighs> Boss. Uh, we have a problem. I spoke to security. The cameras and alarms were off. We don't know who did it. Paintings are all in place, except... Morning over the river. Where's Kate? I'm telling the truth. Listen to me. Access codes, alarms, cameras, they were all off. Someone got past security. If I find out you were involved in this robbery, I... I'm not involved in this robbery. You have to believe me. Think then. Who was in the gallery last night? I don't know. Simon? Hmm. You know, I... I saw someone out of the corner of my eye. Don't be stupid! A man, a woman, who was it? I don't know! It could have been... Valerie! Yes, I, I think it was Valerie. Calm down. Calm down now, okay? Get back to work. Mm-hmm. Go now. Kate. Hmm. Boss, it really didn't cross my mind. Valerie had access to everything. Her son should still be in the hospital. Go check. Yes, boss. Kids still at the hospital, still in critical condition. Valerie hasn't visited him today. That's it, that's it. Wait for my call there. Mr. Bass, uh, it's Carlson, the owner of the art gallery. 
Oh, yes. Good afternoon. How are you? Listen, has my colleague contacted yes, you? Yes, she says she would deliver the painting directly to my office in half an hour. Wait, is there a problem? No, no. I just wanted to make sure. I've got you now. I've got you. Simon, listen. Yeah? Hello, Mr. Malkovich. Yes. This is Investigator Erwin. Do you think you can stop by my office today? I have some documents here that need you to sign. Yes. Yes, of course. I'll come. I'm out of town now. I'll be there in two hours. Very well. See you soon. Mr. Malkovich? Oh, yeah. Hello. Investigator Erwin. Glad to see you. Come with me. I was told you found some things of Lisa's. Yes, yes, it's true. <sighs> well, the art critic. Hmm. She valued me at 50,000. I had no other choice. My hmm. son is dying in the hospital. I need the money urgently. And I did ask you for help. I will help you. You stole a painting from me. You stole it. You want to go to jail? $50,000. And I'll forget about everything. Where will I get the money from? Sit down. You have three days. Find it. If you want your son to be alive by the weekend. Please don't touch him. Don't touch my son, please, I beg you. This case was found in the car after the accident. It's probably your daughter's. Do you recognize it? Yes. It's hers. Not broken. I never quite understood, but Lisa really liked to play the violin. You need to sign this. Yeah. Oh, by the way, a nine-year-old boy, Sam Sutcliffe, was injured because of the accident. He is in critical condition and his mother went to the insurance company. You can do it too. I thought that was optional. Excuse me. Yes. Yeah. What about the yes, boy? Yes, I'm coming. 
Okay. Huh? huh? I'm sorry. It's work. Yeah, don't worry. Uh, yes. Come on. What street? How's the boy doing? One moment. Yeah. Yes, yes. I'll be there soon. Mm-hmm. Are you completely out of your mind? Hey, what's wrong with you? Are you okay, miss? Uh, Are you hurt? No, I... Are you okay? What happened? I got lost. What happened to you? I'm cold. And... Are you alone here? Yes. Can I ask you to drive me to the city, please? Uh, well, I'm going in the opposite direction, but don't uh, worry. Yeah. I'll take you. Of course. Thank you. Get in. Are you hurt at all? Uh, a little bit. I'll help you. Okay. There. Yes, who is it? Mr. Clarkson. This is Mr. Beth. Look, your assistant didn't show up. I've called her many times and she's not picking up the phone. Valerie didn't call you back? No, I'm telling you. I haven't heard from her. Okay, I'll explain then. She arbitrarily decided to decrease the price. I fired her, and she doesn't work for me anymore. So that's what happened. So, still a hundred thousand for the painting then? Yes, exactly, and the price will only increase. Maybe I should buy it for a hundred then. Okay, let me call you in a couple of days. The doors to my gallery are always open for you. I'm home! Dad! Ah, hello, son. I want to console that just came out, but mom won't let me. Can you get it for me? <laughs> Did you go to your boxing lesson? Mm-hmm. Oh, <gasps> oh, oh, all right, I believe you. I'll buy you the console, the coolest one. Hooray! <laughs> I'm against computer games, you know. <sighs> Do you want some dinner? No, I need to keep working a little while. Well, I'm Ivan, and you? Valerie. Valerie, nice to meet you. We saw each other at the hospital, didn't we? We met, you were looking for your son, right? We saw you in the hallway. Yes, that's right. So? How's your son? No, he's okay. He's still in the hospital. And you? I think you were looking for your daughter? I was. She didn't survive. She died. I'm very sorry. Thank you. Hey, 
Is your son's condition serious, since he's still in the hospital? I'm sorry, I don't want to talk about it. No, I'm sorry about that. I shouldn't have asked. Thank you very much. You're welcome. That's my car. Oh. Goodbye. Goodbye. You know, they usually put the keys under the wheels. May I? Oh, there it is. Huh. There you go. Thank you. Thank you very yeah. much. Again. You too. Good goodbye. Night. Goodbye, Ivan. Girls, thank you for the bachelorette party. Everything was so cool. You guys, I love you all. Kisses. I'll post the photos tomorrow. Get ready for my wedding.
here to see Sam. No hope remains. Did you Part find money? three. I'm trying. Valerie, hurry up. Every day counts. <sighs> yes, I know that. You know, not long ago, some volunteers from a charity foundation came to us. I think they help people like you raise money. Hold on. Here, I think you should give them a call. Here's their info. Thank you. But I really don't think anyone can help me. I'm really trying to... You have to try every option. Thank you. I'll call them. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Please wait, 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 wait. I'm, I'm Ivan Malkovich. Valerie is my good friend, and I just found out her son is sick. Yeah, so? You understand, I just can't ask her, but maybe you can tell me how I can help. Please, just tell me. As you know, I'm not allowed to discuss this with you. Yes, yes, I'm a doctor myself. I understand. I'm an anesthesiologist, although I work in dentistry now. But I want to help. I just don't know how. Ah, uh, come in. Thank you. <sighs> the kid has a post-traumatic heart disease that has developed as a result of a closed injury to the chest. How did that happen? Approximately three weeks ago, there was an accident. And as a result, the boy was badly injured. A boy and a girl were driving a sports car. They both died. Hmm. Near the art gallery. So, you heard about it? <sighs> yes, my daughter was in that car. I'm sorry for your loss. Thank you. So you were saying the boy has a post-traumatic heart disease? Yes. He needs to get surgery abroad, but unfortunately, <sighs> his mom, Valerie, does not have the money for it. How much? $50,000. They need the money as soon as possible. <sighs> Mom? Yes, sweetheart. How do you feel today? I feel fine. <laughs> Can I have some water? Of course. Come on, sit up here. Here you go. Here. Drink this. Sam, I haven't told you before. I'm sorry. The thing is, you need to get surgery. Surgery? Mom, that's scary. No, no. Don't be scared, my dear. It'll be good for you. Everything will be fine. But when? Tomorrow? No, not tomorrow. We're still not sure when. I'll be right back. Yes. Do you have my compensation? I'm trying to get it. I don't have that kind of money. Find it. Stop sitting in your son's room and act. How 
do. Are you following me? Well, what do you think? I told you, your son is under my supervision. You have two days. Kristen. Oh, Karen, mm -hmm. do you know where Kristen yeah, is? Yeah, perhaps treating a patient. Thank you. Oh, Kristen, how are you? Listen, I need $50,000 right now. First of all, is this a joke? No, I'm serious. Okay, look, I invested my money in the expansion of this <sighs> clinic, as you know. And look, I'm offering you to buy my share. It's a great opportunity for you, you know. Look. 50,000 now, and you'll give me 100,000 in a year. Are you serious? Absolutely. Your share is worth a lot more. Yeah, I know. Do we have a deal? Why do you need the money? You're asking me why? Kristen, you wouldn't understand. Just tell me what you need. No, I wouldn't explain myself. With this deal, we all get what we want. You know it's a bargain, so, yes or no. Good morning, yes. This is Valerie Sutcliffe. I would like to report a crime. You've been promising to finish the renovation for a month now. And our salon is opening in just a week. What kind of other problems? Give it to me. I'm sorry, give what? it. Listen to me now. If the work is not completed by tomorrow, I will start charging penalties. Is that clear? Great. Here, talk to the accountant. Mm-hmm. Yes, Christian. Is this an emergency? All right, I'll be there. See you soon. I would like to testify against the art gallery owner, Arthur Carlson. What? Yeah. Carlson. I know that name. Wait a minute. Is he the father of the boy who got into an accident? Yes, he is. Well, he said he would kill my son if I didn't pay him $50,000. Gave me three days to get him the money. Otherwise, my son will die. Valerie, that's a serious accusation. I know, it's serious. I need to buy time for my son. He needs urgent surgery, and then I'll be ready to answer to the law for everything I've done in order to save my wait, son. Wait, wait, what did you do? I've done nothing. Be honest. For this to work, you need to tell me everything. Valerie, excuse me, can we talk for a minute? Yes. I was at the hospital talking to your doctor. And I... I know your son needs surgery urgently. I... want to help.
Why would he help us? Well, my daughter. She died in that accident. Lisa. Lisa Malkovich. She was in that car that night. And she... Anyway. The point is, I have the money. For you and your son to travel for the surgery right away. Is something wrong? Hi. I need to tell you something. Christian, what's the emergency? I have many things to do. Did you know that Ivan wants to sell his share of the business? What do you mean? No, I didn't know that. Why does he need money for? And so urgently. Um, has he mentioned anything? No. Ivan is losing his mind. Listen, Christian. He needs a psychiatrist. Don't you see that? It's so obvious. Forgive me, but I have to go. stole an expensive painting from the art gallery. I had no other choice but to steal it. I've been working for Arthur at a gallery for five years, and I never even imagined that he could act like that. You went to the police, right? What did the detective say? He said he would interrogate Arthur. That's it? I don't know what else I can do. They were supposed to arrest them. He's a criminal. Valerie, let's be realistic here. If Arthur didn't file a police report about the stolen painting from the gallery, it's because he's watching you. And until you return all the money, he will not let you leave the country. Wait. Do you understand that your son is in real danger? We need to take him out of that hospital and hide him immediately. Yeah, I thought about it. But the fact is that someone from the staff at the hospital is working for Arthur. I know that for sure. Someone is following me. He will know our every movement. Okay. Do you suspect anyone in particular? Everyone. Everyone except for Sam's doctor. Her name is Olivia. Carlson. Hello, this is Investigator Irwin. Yes, tell me. Go ahead. Uh-huh. Would you mind coming to the office tomorrow at 9 a.m.? Are they finally going to give me Dan's car? When can I pick it up? We'll discuss everything here. I'll leave a pass with your name at the entrance. All right, I'll be there. The investigator wants to meet with me. I think all the procedures are finalized now, and he wants me to sign some documents tomorrow. About that batch of slot machines. Tell everyone, I want them to be in perfect condition. Not like last time. They were secondhand, okay? Otherwise, you won't get paid. Yes? Hello, Dr. Vanessa. May I come in? Yes, of course. Thank you. Uh, I need to talk to you about something serious. But no one can know about this conversation. You have to keep it confidential. Yes, sure. My son and I are in trouble with bad people, and we really need you to help us. Boss, second floor, Office 17.
coming with you. Did you bring an extra coat? Valerie, first of all, I don't have an extra coat. And second of all, I will do this myself. You can't be there at all. Valerie, please don't worry. I'll be fine. I'll be quick. I don't want to hear it. I came to pick up my son's car. Why'd you ask me to come here? What the hell do you need? Well, according to Valerie Suckler's testimony, you said that you would kill her son if she did not pay you for a painting she stole from you. First of all, she did not steal any painting from me. The painting is on display at the gallery. You can go check. Besides, what did she say? Did I threaten her? The only thing I did was fire her. After she insulted the memory of my son and myself. What did you expect me to do? Do you know what the consequences could be? Consequences? Blackmail, extortion, kidnapping. Stop right there. I'm nothing but a gallery owner. What is all this? What are you talking about? Let's say this is true. Is there any evidence for what she's saying? I could even sue her for defamation now. I could do it. But I won't. She's got a sick child. I understand. I can sympathize with her at a human level. I fired her, and I haven't seen her again after that. And I hope I don't ever see her again. Listen, Arthur. You must stay away from Valerie Sutcliffe, is that clear? It's clear. But tell her to stay away from me too, okay? Tell her that. Can I go now? You can. Simon. Are you stupid? Come. Yes, I'm coming, boss. Call the guys, take me to the gallery, and deal with this bitch. What do you mean, boss? How long will have to run after this woman? We have other things to do. She talked to the police. This is personal now. Oh, are you serious? Kidnapping, extortion, threatening the life of her son. No one had accused me of anything like that before. Bring her to me. Yes, boss. Now we need to take control of the situation quickly. Okay, you take care of the first ten wards, I'll take care of the rest. Of course, Doctor, right away. I have an important meeting, but I'll call you later. Now go find her. Got it, boss. They say there's fire on the third floor. I heard it's in the basement. What's going on? Where are you taking me, Doctor? Sam, don't be afraid. This nice man will take you to Hello. your mother. Hello, I'm Ivan. Everything is fine. Don't be afraid, okay?
How are you? I'm here. Forgive me. Please. I'm sorry. Hurry up. We need to go somewhere else quick. Get in. Everything will be fine. Get down! Now! They're here! Are you trying to threaten me or Listen what? Listen to me, man. I will have to call it. I'm sorry, Dr. Venice. I can't find Siam anywhere. Maybe he's still in the hospital? He's not inside. His mom took him. What? Yeah, I got the paperwork ready since yesterday. Why didn't you tell me? I didn't know he was being discharged. I don't understand. What is all this? There... There, there was a fire, sir. What fire? Where are the firemen? The smoke? I don't know. <sighs> what did you do with the kid? He was discharged. Are you an idiot? I didn't know. Hello? What? So it was a false alarm? I, I understand. I, I'm coming back now. There was a fire. I have to go inside. Go now. <sighs> Boss, I'm very sorry, but... We have bad news for you. I don't know how it happened, but the woman ran away with a boy, and we don't know where they... Uh, 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 but, but... I understand. We'll find them. Since it's a weekday, most houses here aren't empty. No one will even notice that we are here. You have nothing to worry about. What's wrong? Something hurts? Let's see the river. The river? Maybe you should rest for a bit, Sam. But I'm not tired. Okay, just give me a minute then, and we'll go. Hello? Yes, I went through her whole apartment. There's not a single clue where they could be, and her car is still here. Okay, Simon, listen to me carefully. Yes, boss. Tell me, Simon, uh, how did she get him out of there? I have no idea how she took him out of the hospital. <sighs> she tricked us. Well, it doesn't matter. Don't waste time on it. Mm -hmm. You should track her phone, even if she turned it off. The SIM card must still uh, be okay. online. Uh, that's exactly what I'll do. Keep me informed. Of course, boss. Here you go. Oh, careful, it's very you. hot. Be careful. Mm -hmm. This is a beautiful spot, Ivan. Yes, it's nice. Mom. Hmm? When I get better, I want to come here and swim in the river. <laughs> of course you will swim here, Sam. Of course. Lisa loved... 
this place very much. You stay here. Hey, Ivan. I wanted to say thank you for everything you've done. If it wasn't for you, we wouldn't be sitting here right now. We would be in a basement. Oh, come on. It's no problem. It's just that the investigator has nothing to accuse Carson with. But don't worry, it'll be fine. I will get the money soon. You will be able to take your son to that hospital. Thank you very much. Thank you. You will be fine. Christian. Yes, Christian. How soon can I have the money? Ivan, I changed my mind. There will be no deal. You what? Huh, boss. I can't find her. What about her phone? She got rid of a SIM card. Mm. Mm -hmm. The stakes are rising. She's <sighs> betting all she has. Mm. As they say, all in. Well then, mm. I'm all in too. Where's Christian? I don't know. Uh, please run an allergy test. Last time you did it and it's important. Yeah, right away. Christian! What's going on? <laughs> what's the matter? Why did you change your mind? You and I made a deal. Look, don't be offended by this. But you seem to be losing your mind. I talked about it with Sylvia. I went to see her. Why did you talk to Sylvia about me? Because she's your wife and she should know about your crazy decisions. She's not my wife anymore. I'm really sorry. Christian, the $50,000 are for an urgent heart surgery for the boy who survived the accident that killed Lisa. That's why I'm asking. We've been growing this clinic for 10 years. Are you ready to give it up for this? When Lisa died, I couldn't understand why I needed all this anymore. And now you see, I can save this boy's life and that makes more sense to me. Is that clear enough? It's clear. <sighs> Hello, Doctor. Everything is fine. Valerie and Sam are in a safe place. Thank you very much again. I hope no one was hurt by the fire. Mm. No, and what about the money? Oh, it's taken care of. Tomorrow, or maybe the day after tomorrow, I'll get For it. For sure? Yes. So I can talk to the German clinic about the surgery now, right? Yes, of course, it's possible. By the way, it's very important that you don't call me the number from which I contacted you. 
Here, I wrote it for you. And call us only from your phone, or we won't pick up. Why is it all so secretive? Mm. Who would try to hurt a sick kid? You should remember this name. Arthur Carlson. If anything happens to us, he is the man who's behind all of this. All right. Thank you for all your help, Doctor. Wait for me here. So... Alex. Uh, yeah. Get us some coffee there. All right. And you, watch the entrance. Over there? Yeah. Excuse me. You know where Dr. Vanessa's office is? It's right here. Oh, thank you. Yes? Dr. Vanessa, may I come in? Yes, come in. Good afternoon. I am Arthur <clears throat> Carlson. You have Sam Sutcliffe in this hospital. He was injured in the accident in which my son died. Um, we are still grieving and... I want to help the child out. Yes? That's kind, but someone has already promised to help him. Oh, really? Well, I'm ready to pay to the full amount right now. I just need to contact Miss Valerie to discuss all the details. But I don't have her phone number. Uh, unfortunately... I don't have his number either. Uh, Valerie picked up her son from the hospital and promised to get in touch herself. Oh. And how could I find her? I wouldn't know. I could call you as soon as she gets in touch with me. Here's my business card. 
When she calls, please don't tell Valerie I came to talk to you. I want this to be a surprise for her. Of course, I won't tell her. <laughs> Alex, are you stupid? I ask you for coffee with coconut milk. You know I'm lactose intolerant. Oh, the boss. How was it? The doctor doesn't know anything. Of course. If the car is still at her place, someone helped her. Or she took a taxi. Have you found her friend? Let's go. Boss, about her friend. She's not in the country right now. She's married with some banker and they're traveling abroad. Okay, where else could we keep looking for them? Huh? Give me options. Simon. Boss, that car was parked here yesterday, and a guy was in it. There's a camera in that car. Got it. Guys, follow me. Hey, you. Can I have the recordings of your camera? <clears throat> Here you have. I think I've seen this guy somewhere. Wait. This is the guy that came up to you at the cemetery. Exactly. Exactly. It's the father of that girl. The one who was with Dan in the car. Is this his revenge? That's what we're gonna find out. Find me this asshole. Good morning. Good morning. Hi. How are you this I'm morning? I'm fine, thank you. Sam's still sleeping in the all room. All right. Do you want pancakes? No, no thanks. I usually don't eat breakfast. Oh, all the right. The tea would be great. Of course. Well, Lisa and I really like to have breakfast here. And I used to play basketball all the time, volleyball too, badminton sometimes. We like going swimming and sunbathing. The house is old, but we love coming here all the time. If I could go back in time. I would do things very differently. I'd take her hand. I'd ask her how she's doing. What's she thinking about? What does she dream about? What's in her head? I would ask how she's feeling. I can't cry anymore. It's like I've run out of tears. If only Sam would have left school five minutes later. None of this would have happened. Valerie, you can't change the past. Okay. Sure. I'll go. You really want to go there right now? Yes. He must be stopped.
No, Julia, please don't ever make such decisions without me. Yes, all candidates are approved only after a personal interview with me. I'll call you back. Who's there? Good afternoon. This is the police. My name is Detective Andrew. Please tell me, does Ivan Malkovich live here? What happened, officer? He caused a car accident on the road a few days ago, and he fled the scene. The license plate showed this address, and we're trying to find him. Is he at home? Answer me, please. No, Ivan Malkovich no longer lives here. We are going through a divorce. Hmm. Can you tell me where to find him? Yes, he's at the summer house. Hmm. Can you give me the address? Well, yes, yes. I'm ready to testify that Carlson people came to the hospital specifically to get Valerie's son. Hmm. So they told you... They were there specifically to get the boy. Is that what you're saying? How could they tell me? Are you kidding me? I'm telling you, I saw them with my own eyes. We barely escaped the hospital when they arrived. How did you they know were there, about it? You understand? How, how did I? Whose side are you on, anyway? Do you understand that a woman and a small, sick child are in danger? How can you sit there and do nothing about it? Just do your job! Calm down now! With no evidence, it's just speculation. They will argue they came to the hospital to visit a friend. Any decent lawyer would blow this case up in a second. It's her word against his word. So what do we do? We need to find evidence. And where can I find evidence? I'm not a detective. I'm a dentist. Where are you going? To see a patient. <sighs> yes, Sylvia. Listen, Ivan, how is this possible, huh? First that nonsense about selling the clinic. Now the police comes to my place. Could you leave me alone already? Wait, the police came to your place? What are you saying? Don't pretend you're hearing about this for the first time. You caused the accident yourself. You will deal with it. There was no accident. Wait, were they in uniform? Were the cops in uniform? I don't know. They wear three men in regular clothes, I think. They're going to your place. Don't tell me you gave them the address of the house. What address should I give them, then? You're not at the summer house? Sylvia. Listen to me carefully. Just be careful. Got it. Search the entire place. No hope remains. Part four. Come on, dear. Keep walking. Just walk a little more. A little more. Please. I'm sorry. Walk. Can you walk? Can you walk? You can, right? Hold on. Let's go. We're almost there. I I can't walk anymore. What's wrong? You no. can't walk? 
dear. We'll rest a little. They left not long ago. Search the entire area. They're still around here. And we need to find them. Okay, you go that way. Uh -huh. Alex, that way. Get in the car! Tom isn't feeling well. Please help me. Where are we going? Where no one will find us. Where's that? A nursing home. Oh my god. Boss, we've searched everywhere. They're not there. They left the place. Don't worry. I know they left. Let's go. Go where? I need to go check on someone. Uh-huh. You know how late a dentist's office stays open? A private one? Probably until nine. Mm-hmm. Christina, how are you? Please accept my condolences. Some of our classmates told me everything. Hmm. How is Sylvia? S Sylvia, she's fine, but we're divorced. Oh, that's awful. It is, but listen. I have a mother and a boy in the car. He got hurt in that accident, and she's in big trouble. Could we stay here for a few days without anyone knowing about it? Is that okay with you? Hmm... Only for a few days, and then what? And then? Then they need to fly out of the country for treatment. The boy is very ill. Christina, help me. Let me think. All right, I've got one free room. You can stay there. Go tell them. Thank you. Everything's fine. Wake up, Sam. We're staying here. Hello, doctor. Excuse me, the clinic is closed now. Please come in tomorrow. I'm sorry, but... Seriously, the clinic is... Where is your friend Malkovich? I, I, I don't know. Simon? No, no, I don't know. Let me go. What's his number? I don't know. Simon? What does it say there? It says Ivan right here. His number isn't available. He's trying to lay low. We'll find him. Simon, be gentle with him. Listen, Doctor. If you're thinking of telling someone we were here... I won't tell. We'll see. Everything. I don't know what Sam likes. Thank you. Mm -hmm. 
How are you? Not great. I didn't sleep all night. I just don't understand how he could find us. I know how. They went to talk to my ex-wife, Sylvia, pretending to be the police. She told them where I was. He will never let us leave the country. Yes, he needs to be stopped. But how? Valerie, do you have an idea of where that basement they took you to is located? Did you see anything? I couldn't see anything. I had a bag over my head. No, wait. I did hear them talk. They were saying something about gambling halls, and they mentioned slot machines, I think. Stuff like that. Do you know what that means? It means that Carlson is running an illegal gambling business. The gallery is just a cover for it. And to protect such a business, he'll do anything, including murder. We need to call the investigator right now. We need his help. What will the investigator do? We need evidence. How do we get it? I have no idea how. All right. I will fix this. Where are you going? I've got an idea. Say hi to Sam for me. to get me the console. You promise. Mm. Here. Thank you. Mm. I promise. So I'll get it, son. Don't you have boxing class? How are the lessons going? Arthur, I've been wanting to talk to you for some time. Uh, the thing is that Kira does not want to continue with boxing. He wants to become a musician. Hmm. Really? Son, <clears throat> do you think our family lives comfortably? And how do you think your dad achieved all of this? By being strong? Correct. And that's why everyone <laughs> respects dad. But you'd rather be weak then, right? Arthur? Quiet. I don't. Come here. Come, son. Come here. Kira, if your mother starts talking to you about music again, I'll beat the crap out of both of you. It's getting late now. Kira, let's go. Why do you want to get to box? Hurry up, or we'll be late. Come on, hurry up. Hey boss, we have a guest. What do we do? Let 
him come talk to me. Hmm. <clears throat> you too, stay here. What do you need? I need to talk to Arthur. To Arthur. Is he home? It's just you? Yes, just me. Come in then. That's enough, guys. Come here. You're a brave man. What do you want? I came here to offer you a deal. I will pay the full amount that Valerie owes you. And you will forget about them forever. Really? You brought the money? <clears throat> First they will leave the country to get treatment. And then I will give you the money. Okay? No. Listen, don't you have a conscience? Your youngest son's a little older than Sam. <laughs> Leave them alone, will you? There will be no deal. You and your pennies don't interest me. This is personal. Where is she? Where is she? I don't know. As you wish, Simon. Simon! Wait, 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 stop. Where is she? I said I don't know! Go ahead. Simon. Be gentle. Take him outside. Okay, bring him. Ivan, pick up the phone. What's going on? Go stand right there. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Awesome. Yes. One more. All right. Look over there. Please. Yes. Go stand on the bench. Yeah, great. Can you get a little higher? Hey. What? There's a man down there. Well, let's go.
Is he alive? I'm not sure. Hello, Christian, listen. Oh, sorry, sorry, wrong number. Mm. Right, 25, 250, 12. Hello, uh, hello, Christian. Hey, listen, come to the clinic immediately. I'm here. See you soon. Yes, Ivan. I'm here. Christian, come help me. Come on. I'll do it. Who did this to you? The gallery owner, Carlson. Turns out he's the leader of a gang. He's involved in illegal gambling, murder, and blackmail. He's chasing Valerie because he thinks his son died because of her boy. Oh, oh a terrible man. Yeah, I know. He's a terrible person, isn't he? What do you mean? He was here. And then? And then he put a bag over my head and asked about you. What did he say? I didn't say anything. <sighs> Don't worry. Thanks, Kristen. <sighs> <sighs> $50,000. I haven't done any paperwork, just pay for the surgery. You will pay me back later. Actually, you don't have to. I'm in 50-50. And as for your share of the clinic, well, you founded it. Your daughter's name is on it. So we'll let it stay that way. You and I are partners, and will remain as such. I... I... I don't even know what to say, Christian. <clears throat> Thank you. Are you sure? You know something? It's impossible to always run away and hide. Sometimes you need to get shake to wake you up and make you feel like a human being again. <laughs> What's the plan? Well, for now, this money here needs to be taken to a doctor. Her name is Valeria Vaness. She will then transfer the money to a German clinic. So, can you take it tomorrow? Of course. <clears throat> what about Carlson? <coughs> <coughs> we need to find evidence for all of his crimes. <sighs> and that won't be easy. I was at his mansion today. Ivan, why did you go there? Well, I wanted to talk to him like a man. I needed to tell him to leave Valerie alone. As you see, it didn't work. Listen, what if the two of us got together? Although there are cameras and 
security. Well, even if we manage to get inside, what exactly will we look for? Well, I don't know. <coughs> Documents, recordings, I don't know, mails. I know it's impossible. We need to follow him then. Exactly. Christian, come in. Close the door behind you. Okay, this is Sam's files from the hospital. All the photos, tests, his discharge papers, everything you'll need. Mm -hmm. Here's the money. No, 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 no. The clinic account information is in the folder. As soon as the money is credited to the account, the clinic will send a confirmation. Only then can you get on the plane. Yes, of course. But you need to do it as fast as possible. You're first, I'm second. What's that? You will go out first and I'll go next. Oh, yeah, I got it. Christian, good luck. Okay, thank you. Hi, good morning. Hi, good morning. Hi, good morning. Good morning, how are you feeling? I'm fine, thank you. Glad to hear. Hi. Good morning. Valerie, good morning. Hello. How are you doing? I'm okay, thank you. Ivan called, said he's taking care of things, but he didn't say much else. Well, I've known Ivan for a long time and he's always been mysterious <laughs> and quiet. And he's also very sensitive and delicate. I was secretly in love with him a long time ago. Hmm. Really? Yeah, but we were in college. And a lot has happened since. I've been happily married for years. A loving husband, two children. I feel so sorry for Lisa. I met her when she was very young. It's a pity how things turned out. And common grief does not always bring people together. That's true. I'm sorry. I have to go. Sam has probably woken up by now. Valerie, I will say one thing, knowing Ivan, when he is in love, he, he will do anything to help. Listen, I need to go to the bathroom quickly. No, don't okay. go. They're leaving the gallery. Well, follow them. No, no. Did you notice anything? What? Where? They came out, got in the car, and left. In his hands, did you see anything? Carl's hands? A briefcase. Right. You think there's something there? Important documents, maybe. Well, let's find out. <laughs> Valerie. Hello, listen. Do you know anything about the briefcase that Carlson carries around? Arthur always comes to work with a briefcase. He has a laptop there. There's a laptop in the briefcase. And every time I came into his office, he would shut it down quickly so that I couldn't see what he was looking at. Do you think maybe he has information related to the gambling business in there? Maybe not only that. All right, thanks. H hello Simon. Did something happen? Yes, yes. Yes, 
Yes, I saw Dr. Venice handing over Sutcliffe's medical record to a man. Who did she give it to? Uh, I don't know. I've never seen him here. But I think they're getting ready to fly out of the country soon. Maybe for the boy's surgery. Listen to me. I'll send someone over to you now. He will give you a USB drive, and if you do everything we say, you'll get your money, like last time. Is that clear? Yes, sir. What do I need to do? My guy will explain everything to you. That's a very stupid plan. How could you think that will work? It's completely unrealistic. It'll be quick and easy. Me in the front, you in the back. I don't know. No, well... You could ask him for his briefcase. Borrow it for a couple of days. Okay, let's go. I still need to go to the bathroom. No, 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 no. You'll go at the gas station, be patient. Listen, don't drive too fast, okay? Uh, this is my first time. Uh-huh. Uh, <clears throat> All right. How do I hold on to you? <sighs> Gently. Got it. We'll learn her location as soon as she contacts the doctor. She's got no options. Seems like Ivan's not helping her. I'm not sure. What if he paid for the surgery before he had a chance to talk to him, huh? We've got people at the airport, train stations, and... Ivan, drop the, drop the find out who it was. I know who it was. Sylvia. What? Something happened to Ivan? <clears throat> Look. No, I'm fine. But you can't go home just now. What are you talking about? Look, leave me alone, both of you. At least listen to him for a second. Come on, let's go. We have to get out of here. Remember those cops that came to you? Well, they were Carlson's people. Who the hell is Carlson? The father of the kid who was driving the car. What does he want from us? It's a long story. Now? You shouldn't have dragged me into your mess, Ivan. It's very hard to explain, but things just there got out There is no of... need to explain anything. I'll stay at my sister's place. Mm -hmm. Take care. You too.
You know, Christian, you should also lie low for a while. They'll be looking for you. Is there somewhere you can hide? Damn. This is all my fault. We should have come up with a better plan than that. <laughs> What's so funny? Wait. <laughs> We're dentists. We don't do things like this. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Christian. Let's go. Wait, wait. The car is on the oh, other side. Oh, right. something hurt? No. I just wanted to tell you something. What? I always wanted to have a dad. And if I ever have a dad, I wish he was exactly like you. Strong like you. And brave. And kind. Well... If I ever had a son, he would be like you. Kind like you, and brave, and strong. And of course, he would be as smart as you, kid, you know? <laughs> All right, go back to sleep. How's your mom? She's fine. Okay, good night. Good night, Ivan. I was waiting for you and asleep. Yes, I came back pretty late. Didn't want to wake you up. I assume you don't have good news for me. No, our plan didn't work. Sorry, I don't know what to do. I was thinking what we could do if we could get the briefcase. There's one option, the last one. What? You've been fighting Carlson in his own territory. We need to change that. Your daughter will be fine. Her tests look very good. I think we might be able to discharge her soon. Can she go back to playing sports soon, Doctor? Well, she'll have to wait a couple of months. Thank you for everything. Have a great day. You too. Goodbye. Hello? Dr. Vaness, hi. How are you? Are the documents ready? Uh, hello, Valerie. 
Yes, they're ready. Uh, when will you pick them up? I wouldn't want to come to the hospital myself, you know. Could we perhaps meet at the forest near the restaurant called Spring Valley? Know that place? Nobody is ever there. Um... Mm, yes, yes, I know where that is. I'll be there in two hours. Great, thanks. I'll see you there. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Gotcha. You want me to find out where she called from before meeting with the doctor? No, no. There's no time for that. We'll get them later. Okay, as you wish. On your knees, you heard him! On your knees! Come on, come on! Yes, yes. Arthur, wait. I don't know. I don't like this. They were just... standing there. They didn't run. Well, let's finish this fast then. stealing from me. I could have gotten you arrested. But instead, I offered you a deal. And you agreed to it. There, in the basement. But instead, you went to the cops. You accused me of a crime. Who do you think you are? I did it all to save my son. You don't care about your son. You don't care. He's still alive, because my son moved away to avoid hitting him, and he died. I gave you a choice. I gave it to you. I did! Stay here! You made your choice. You're on hidden camera. They're waiting for Sam yes, at the we'll airport. Yes, put a car for your protection. <sighs> Mr. Carlson, you're under arrest. You have been charged with leading an organized crime group, blackmail, kidnapping, attempted murder, and so much, much more. <sighs> They're giving us transportation. I've got the original documents with me. It's time to take Sam to the airport now. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> you have zero evidence. Everything has been recorded. Take them away. Stand up! Stand up! Walk! Now! I need a lawyer. Hurry up, guys! Take them come away! On, come Keep on. moving. Move. Keep moving. Berlin. Why are they taking so long? I don't... Valerie, this takes a long time. 
It's a long surgery. Oh, I can't sit down, sit down. I can't. I understand that, but you need to rest. Valerie. Oh, hello. Please tell us how the surgery went. How did the surgery go? It went very well. The kid is fine. Thank God we brought him on time. Actually, he is perfect. I told you everything would be fine. Danke, Doctor. Thank you very much for everything. Ah. Thank Danke you. dear. He's gonna be fine. He, he, he's gonna be fine. Danke schön. Thinking. About what? Unless it's a secret. It's not a secret. It's about how I can't live. Live without you. And without Sam. Not sure I can. Can you? Absolutely not. <sighs> Valerie, I love you. And I want you and Sam to become my family. If you say no, I... I understand. Ivan... No? It's not the word I'm thinking of. <laughs> Let's go help him. Help me up. <laughs> We're coming, Sam. Let me see it. Show me, come on. I can help us. Help me up. 